Hello everyone, welcome back to PK Engineering. Today we are going to see design evaluation of a bicycle frame. In this tutorial, we'll go, we are going to link parameters to the material properties and also define material properties uh, and uh, loading conditions as design study variables and evaluate different design scenarios as well. So we'll be getting this uh, SOLIDWORKS tutorial folder by default when we install SOLIDWORKS in our systems. So let's just open this uh, model here by just clicking here or else you can enter into the drive that we have installed SOLIDWORKS and open this model. So we'll be getting uh, tabs of uh, simulation. Simulation has been done uh, on this uh, uh, bicycle frame here. We are going to design study. Design study is the thing that we'll do after analysis of a part or assembly so that we can change the certain parameters of the uh, design or assemblies that we make so uh, here in this tutorial uh, we'll see we'll see what are uh, what we are going to do uh, first we'll view the results of by default uh, parameters that given uh, for this assembly here As you can see, there are n number of things that are being given under ready uh, tab here. So they have given parameters. Uh, we'll be getting, uh, we'll be giving n number of parameters and linking with the loads that we have given uh, uh, for this uh, assembly here by uh, frame. So we need to enter parameters and uh, category categorize them under the options here. Give them values. And we can also use the formulas uh, by just clicking on the Simba here. And uh, connectivity, so we need to specify the connectivity of bike frame by while designing we will be knowing but, uh, but we need to specify all the connections that uh, we have in this uh, assembly here for doing the analysis. So that's what uh, connections has been done. Uh, the local interfaces that means the top queue will be connected with this uh, two uh, tubes of structure member six and the structure uh, member eight so that's how we define all the connections so that it will make us easy to uh, analyze the assembly here so fixtures uh, fixtures are basic fixture option is basically restraining whatever the analysis will do we'll just do the first step is restraining restraining is basically uh, for example, we are holding uh, like resting, like we are uh, stopping, uh, stopping the degrees of freedom of that assembly so that we can do the analysis or apply loads on uh, whatever the points we need. After that, uh, for doing the analysis, uh, we'll usually mesh the analysis. Meshing is uh, uh, typically we are uh, cutting this uh, assembly into small triangles and uh, doing uh, applying loads. And getting the results from it so that's how uh, the uh, that's how we follow the analysis uh, order of doing any analysis of uh, any design uh, assemblies we have so let's just uh, view the results of the ready study here so I'll just run this study so that uh, we'll get the results of it by the parameters that they have given by default It might take a little bit of time. Let's just uh, see how long it will take. So here, here is how it uh, looks uh, by the uh, they have given the stresses, displacement, and strains uh, for this bicycle frame. Uh, let me just uh, click on displacement so that how actually the displacement might occur uh, and uh, what part of the bicycle frame uh, might uh, deform more depending upon the values that we have here so so the next part of the uh, will be linking uh, material properties to parameters here uh, by default it will take all as aluminium so we will not do that we will uh, make a different we will give different uh, material for that and see what happens and view the results as well We will be linking the materials in the partial tab here. So uh, 
for that uh, uh, we need to change the materials of the surfaces uh, bike frame surfaces we have given so the uh, we have given the shell uh, let us see the shell manager the, we need to give the shell uh, components here because we are using pipes uh, for this uh, analysis so we need to specify every surface body of that uh, bike frame so let us uh, change or change the material properties of this surface uh, shells here I'll apply material we need to create a custom material for that uh, we just need to create a small uh, new folder and uh, give it a uh, material uh, with uh, model type uh, linear elastic isotropic units and I have named as a uh, frame mat uh, that's what we are doing and uh, category uh, sorry the category is a frame mat uh, we can just uh, take a different name the the name should be frame frame mat uh, so I have given the default uh, failure criteria max uh, failure criteria max one measure stress for the material and uh, elastic elasticity modulus uh, we need to specify all the parameters here properties here for that we need to enter into value uh, link the parameter and uh, will be uh, the parameters that we have given uh, uh, that we have by default for that bike bike frame so we'll be reading all all those uh, values here So in the same way you can uh, by changing the parameters differently the material parameters will be uh, should be read again so by changing these uh, we'll be getting a different uh, design study so I just need to click on apply and then close this so the linking of uh, or changing the material properties has been done so I'll uh, I link the load definition to the parameters for that uh, I need to look at the loads as we, as we are uh, doing uh, dealing with the loads I look at the loads that we that they have given uh, part rider by 2 I'll uh, change this uh, edit the definition and uh, link load definition to the parameters so the parameters have been not linked so we, I'm taking a normal to plane I'll just uh, click on this arrow mark link value I'll link this to uh, what we have to link with the uh, right seat weight so I'm going to link all the loading uh, loads we have with the parameters uh, that we have given so in the same way we need to do link all the loads with the parameters so this is how you enter every load and uh, link all the parameters to the loads so the linking of load definition to parameters has been completed so uh, let's just see the this is how the scenarios looks scenario look of the all parameters that we have linked and the material the first scenario will be aluminium uh, sitting on uh, or on the all load values here so let's just uh, define the variable for design scenarios for that uh, we need to enter into design evaluation tab and uh, look at the design study uh, design design study quality to be high quality is lower so in the table view we need to give uh, all the parameters has been uh, there by default but we need to add the elasticity uh, modulus two of the parameters has been not there so we need to enter those elasticity modulus and uh, we need to change the scenarios values So we are done with the elastic uh, modulus uh, 
scenario values uh, will be uh, entering rider seat weights uh, by giving uh, different scenarios values so that uh, we can see the results that we will get so we are done with the uh, rider uh, seat weight uh, values under uh, different scenarios so let's just uh, define the constraints uh, for this design study first I'll take uh, frame displacement uh, so we are not uh, selecting greater than we'll select as uh, less than max of uh, 1 mm frame displacement should uh, only displacement should deform or displace uh, less than 1 mm so I'll take uh, minimum uh, safety factor of safety as uh, so we are not doing for the ready tab that we have uh, by default but uh, we are doing it the partial but because we have changed uh, some materials and loads linkage has been changed so we are going to do for the partial and uh, for minimum factory of safety we are going to just monitor or will not give all the values so the next step will be uh, running this design study uh, we need to make sure that uh, we uncheck the optimization if we want to optimize we need to give some goals here so I am not doing that I will just click run for all the changes that we have made uh, let's see what are all the uh, how the uh, bike frame deforms by changing the all materials linkage and load linkages it might take a little while so the running of the design study has been completed uh, we'll see one of the uh, scenarios I'll, I'll select the I'll select the scenario 2 and uh, view the results of uh, frame displacement so under uh, the scenario 2 of uh, different uh, values of density strength and all uh, this is how the bike frame will uh, deform so under different scenarios you can see the results as well so this is how it will be done uh, for the scenario 3 you can uh, study all the scenarios and results and uh, change your design further uh, to be very better thank you let's meet in the next video if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering please click the link in the description